everybody and welcome back to another video! In today's video, we are going to be doing a nice spring pastel rainbow makeup look, but we're also going to be answering questions about the LGBT plus community. I got you, children. This video is sponsored by Sephora. Thank you so much, Sephora, for working with me on this video. I, like, dream collab. I'm going to be sharing with you all how I created this nice pastel spring trend inspired makeup look using only products from Sephora. Sephora is going to be your one-stop destination for all your spring needs, okay? All your spring beauty needs, skincare, makeup, they got it. Throughout this video, if you like any of the products that I use, there will be links in the description down below available for you to shop now, right away, right after you watch this video. So if you see something that catches your eye and you wanna check it out, I got you, boo, I got you. If you are in the hashtag rainbow fam, I hope this helps you because I asked you all on Instagram questions that you wanted me to answer within the LGBT plus community in regards to coming out, gender, how to be comfortable, how to be confident, all of the above. So yeah, I hope this is inspiring, motivating, or entertaining for you. So sit back, relax, grab a snack, maybe even grab a makeup brush as well. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Hello, my beans. So I have prepped and primed my skin, so we are going to be starting off with foundation. For my foundation, I'm going to be going in with the Makeup Forever HD foundation. So the first question we have here is, how did you know you were gay? Growing up, I knew I always liked more feminine things because I loved the Powerpuff Girls, I loved the Little Mermaid, all of the above. It was in preschool that I realized I didn't really like girls because there was this girl that had a crush on me and she would like chase me around the playground and I was like, ew, get away from me. In first grade, I had my first guy crush, which is my friend Josh, and we're still friends to this day, which is so wild, but um, yeah, I just didn't get along with him the way that like other guys would. It was a completely different like dynamic, and so in that sense, that's when I kind of knew. It was just like my upbringing, my interest, and in not being into girls in that way. I was like, disgusted. <laughs> For concealer, I'm going to be going in with the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer, and we're just gonna boop, boop, boop away. How do I come out to my parents? They probably can't tell, but I feel like I should tell them. Girl, same mood. Literally, I thought my mom would know, but little did you know, she didn't know. It may be obvious to you, but maybe to them, they just don't think anything of it. Like my mom, she was like, oh, you know, he's just a kid. He likes Powerpuff Girls. He likes like the Little Mermaid, whatever. Like he's just a kid, which is so good because like I, I love when parents just allow their kids to express and explore what they love and what they want. But when I came out to her, she was like, oh, I had no idea. The good thing is that in 2020, my hope is that people are more open-minded and accepting because there's so much more representation and conversation around being in the LGBT plus community because when I came out, like when my mom would see a gay character on a TV show or even like Ellen on TV, she'd be like, oh, like, mm. <laughs> so I feel like coming out in like, for me, it was basically like early 2010s. It was. Not that long ago, well maybe it was long ago, like a decade ago. In comparison to now, my hope is that when people come out it's just more easier in that sense because there is more conversation and representation so it's not so like abnormal or whatever. But ways on how you can come out, um, for me I was just honest and upfront and straightforward to the point. I never like really planned it out like, oh on this day I'm gonna tell them this thing. She really just asked me, she was just like, you know, you can tell me anything. And um, I told her, I said, I like boys. If you want to see the whole story time, I actually recreated my coming out story in like a skip video. So if you want to see, I bit my tongue. So if you want to see that video, the link will be in the description down below. I think what's best is to just really have an honest conversation, sit down with them because it is a really serious matter. I don't think you should like just slide it. But um, yeah, I think it's a big moment for those who are struggling because um, even if they do know, for you, it's like a big moment for you. And so I think that's what's most important. Now I'm just gonna set my face with the Milk Makeup Setting Blur Powder. And we're just gonna set our face so it doesn't slide all over the place. For the brows, I'm going to be going in with the Brow Styler. This is my favorite brow product, y'all. This is from Benefit, and I love the little tip, the little applicator. This side is like a brow powder, and then this side is a brow pencil. It's just like the best duo ever. So I'm actually gonna do this off camera so I can focus, because it actually takes me quite some time. So I will be right back. 
And my eyebrows are on, aka my boyfriend's, because who needs a boyfriend when you have your eyebrows? So for the eyes, I'm going to be doing a rainbowy, pastel-y, LGBT-inspired spring look. So for the eyes, I'm going in with this Violet Voss Sugar Crystals Palette. <gasps> look at how beautiful this is. So there's like a bunch of neon shades, some like shimmery shades, and then like lighter ones. Um, and ooh, honey, I'm so excited. I'm gonna start off with this pink shade in Bubblegum. Tap off the excess, and then I'm just going to lightly press it on because we wanna kinda go for like a pastel -y look. Trying to find a relationship in the LGBT plus community. Um, you don't. <laughs> so because I'm more feminine, gender non-conforming, Asian, I feel like my dating pool is more narrowed down because a lot of the people that are interested, I feel like are in the closet, or they fetishize, or objectify, or orientalize me, and it's just like, we're human beings too. Also, I feel like a lot of times in the gay community, like masculine guys are um, held at a different standard, and I feel like a lot of it has to root back into like heteronormativity and like misogyny and all that good stuff. Um, but for me, I feel like, you know, I'm just gonna work on myself. I'm just gonna work on myself. Who needs boys, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, the right person will come along, and I feel like you should never really chase after a dude. We never do chasing up in here, my children. But if you happen to find someone good for you, happy for you, give me some tips and tricks. <laughs> <laughs> next, I'll be going with the orange shade in Pearberry, and then I'm just gonna press that right next to the hot pink and slowly, slightly blending it all together. How do you know? Because I ain't sure. Well, I feel like you usually have a general idea of what you like and you don't like. For me, how I knew for sure that I did like boys and I did not like girls, I asked myself, could I see myself marrying, having a family, living for the rest of my life with a woman? And the answer to that was no. Next, I'll be going with the shade Banana. And then we're just gonna pop her right in the center, blending that right into the Pearberry Orange. And remember, always blend, my children. Always blend. Next, I'll be going in with the shade Mint Choco. And then you're gonna continue to follow your heart. No, I'm just kidding. Follow your rainbow. But yes, follow your heart too. <laughs> this next question is, was there any people you lost, like friends, family, who didn't support you along the way? I don't think I've lost anyone. Like, I had to cut anyone out of my life. But there were lots of people who were questioning and like a little uncertain about my sexuality at first. Um, like my mom, my grandma, they were all just like, are you sure? I'm like, yes, mom. Yes, grandma. I like men. But you know, it could be also like a generational thing, which is why I think like coming out in 2020, my hope is that it's so much better now. Um, but no, I don't think I've lost anyone. If anything, everyone came to accept me and understand me and they all love me now and so I'm really grateful for that. And lastly, going with the blue in Blue Raz. Just gonna wanna uh, sneak its way out of the closet. <laughs> ooh, ooh, I feel like a pack of Skittles right now. With a clean, fluffy brush, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and lightly blend the edges of this eyeshadow look and flick it Outwards. With the shade Sugar Crystals, I'm gonna put that in my inner tear duct. Just gonna boop, 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 and boop, 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 honey. Next, I'll be taking the Huda Beauty Metal Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade French Lace. Taking the sparkly side, I'm actually just gonna put that on my lower lash line. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, I love the shimmery lower lash line. That is definitely a spring trend. Just like adding a little shimmer on the lower lash line to give it that pop. Super simple too. I'm just gonna like dibble dabble a little and then with a the brush and just blend it in. <gasps> I love. So graphic liner is a huge trend this spring, especially like white graphic liner. And so I'm thinking I'm actually gonna do some white graphic liner, kind of like emulating clouds, angel wings. We are going to be looking so divine, honey. So I'm actually gonna do that off camera so I can focus and make sure the shapes are even and I will be right back. Sorry for the lighting change. That's how long it took me to get these wings on. Next, I'm gonna be putting on some lashes, but while I let the glue dry and get tacky, let's answer 
another question. This question asks, are there any LGBT plus people that you look up to? Also, I love you, dad. Love you too, my child. Um, growing up, I always looked up to Gigi Gorgeous because I really identified with her at the time uh, before she transitioned. And so I felt like, oh, if she can wear makeup and like girl clothes, then I can too. And so she was one of my biggest role models growing up and becoming who I am today. Um, now, I actually don't know. Any LGBT people that I look up today, I actually don't know. And that really tells you that we need more LGBT plus representation. We need more LGBT plus creators that are like at a very high level and all that good stuff. And I just feel like that is an extra layer that really hinders people to get a certain level of success. I mean, there's, there's tons of folks in, um, in the LGBT plus community that are successful, but I also feel like there is an intersectionality um, level within that as well, like, you know, being Asian and gay, you know, I feel like you have to work twice as hard as a white person that's gay. And so, um, I don't know if there's any LGBT people that I currently, like, look up to right now. Popped on some star sparkles. Ah, oh, such a dreamy look right now. Finishing up the rest of my face, I'm going to be going in with the Sephora Trio Face Palette in the shade Dare. I'm going to first take this peachy shade and we're just going to lightly... Ooh. This question is, how and where did you find the courage to come out? I kind of need help. For me, I was prioritizing my happiness over any other people's judgments and or opinions. Although I do want to emphasize that safety is number one as always. So my courage, I guess, was wanting to be happy. Wanting to find my inner happiness and peace. Um, because I know that for me, um, I didn't want to be in the closet for... I don't know, however long I was in, I was like, I cannot hold it in anymore. And so there came a point where I was like, I have to live my truth. And so um, the courage, I guess, came from within myself. I was a fearless being. I'm gonna be going in with the glowy peach shade next and we just wanna have a glowy look. Oh, I love, I love that sheen. It also has a highlighting shade too. Y'all, this is just a good traveling palette. If you want a highlight and blush palette, Sephora got you covered. For highlight, I'm gonna be very careful. It is the Tarte Lit chrome highlight and it's very loose um, but here it is and it actually smells so good it smells like a cinnamon sugar cookie or something oh my god i literally want to eat this don't eat it kids and then pop it on areas that i want to highlight this next question is how do you not feel judged because i feel like i am judged for me i don't really pay attention to when i'm judged because i'm too busy living my best life i'm too busy being happy, I'm too, like life is too short to focus on the negativity, okay? So focus on what makes you happy and be positive. And those who judge you, they just insecure and they have no understanding of diversity, okay? There is not just one way to be in this life. There are so many different types of people in this world. They just gonna have to accept it, so. Ooh. This question is how to come out if you have an extremely homophobic family. As I always say, my children, safety is number one. So please don't feel like you have to rush into coming out. I feel like coming out is a personal journey. So don't ever compare yourself to be like, oh, like Kevin came out when he was 15. Then I have to come out. Everyone has a different timeline. Everyone's circumstances are completely different. So basically just analyze your situation and your circumstances. And if you have a good support system and you feel safe, then why not be open and honest? But if not, um, safety is a priority. And lastly, I'll be going in with this lip product from Sephora. It is their Jelly Melt, and this is in the shade Foxtrot. Oh, and this is also made in Korea. Fun fact. The last question is going to be my LGBT question for you is, how did you feel like when you came out of the closet? Y'all, it was a liberating feeling. It was like a weight had been lifted up off of my shoulder. And so um, I really only came out to my, my mom because I feel like a lot of people just kind of already knew. but. I feel like coming out to your parents is like the most rewarding and like gratifying thing because it's just like, I don't know, like you're, they're your parents. They're like one of the most important people in your life, you know what I mean? And although my mom didn't accept me at first, she did come around and so um, to have them finally accept you for you, it's just like everything you've ever wanted, you know what I mean? However, the only person you should care about who accepts you is yourself. So as long as you love and accept yourself, that's all that matters.
Alrighty everyone, so that is the completed makeup look using pastels, spring trends, graphic liners, all using products from Sephora. Again, Sephora is going to be your one-stop destination for all of your spring beauty needs, whether it's skincare and or makeup. So if you want to go ahead and grab the products that I use as well for this makeup look, link will be in the description down below. Be sure to go and check them out, read more about it, and see if you want to recreate this lovely rainbow. Is my lash popping off? Alrighty everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did like this video, up, also let me know in the comments down below letting me know if you are a part of the hashtag RainbowFam. Once again, thank you so much to Sephora for sponsoring this video. If you want to go and check out their products, be sure to go and shop now. Links will be available in the description down below. Today's slowest feature goes to this person right here. Thank you so much for all the love and support. I appreciate you so much. If you want to have your very own shout out in the next flawless feature, all you have to do is take a photo or video that you're watching this YouTube video right now. Tag me at Flawless Kevin and that is all you have to do. Be sure to go and follow me on my other social platforms such as TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, all at Flawless Kevin if you want to stay up to date with your daddy. But yes, I love you all so much and remember everyone, to be flawless is to be yourself. Bye!